Hey, what up everyone? Michael B. Petty here. Um, I have been getting inundated, like absolutely inundated with so many DMs, so many tags on Twitter, on Instagram of people telling me that I need to watch this video of this guy named Ant Ferdite. I think that's how you say his name. Um, people are telling me that he did a psychic tarot card reading of our girl Amberlyn Reed and that he was dead on and incredibly insightful. I haven't seen it yet. Um, people want me to react to it, so I'm like, fuck it, let's just go ahead and do a react to it. So without further ado, I'm just going to go ahead and get into the video. I'm going to link his channel, and um, I believe he's a Twitch streamer, so I'm going to link his Twitch channel, his Twitch address at in the description box too, so if you want to watch the video over there too. So without further ado, let's get into it. So right away, I'm kind of already like obsessed with it because... It seems like we have very similar um, color taste. I pink, blue, and purple are like my favorite colors. Um, he's really into pink, so this should be really good. Hello, hello, hello. Amphredetti here, your pop culture psychic. So, pop culture psychic. Um, today we're gonna do a reading on Amberlynn Reed. Um, I don't know particularly what she's known for. <laughs> what I was. She's known for eating on camera. She's. <laughs> told from my channel on twitch is that she is a weight loss channel that is gaining weight apparently true and that is they're true all calling her a scammer so that I is also very true too much and to be honest with you i don't really care um i like that <laughs> i'm just gonna look at it myself with the cards oh um i did want to say this um it's not possible for me to watch all of these people's content. So hopefully you guys okay. understand when I say I'm not really super familiar with them. It's literally because I can't. Um, anyways, so we're gonna do Amberlynn. Um, okay. Only thing I know- All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and say this real quick. I'm gonna probably skip a little bit of the intro to that just because he's kind of going on about how his channel works. I just wanna get to the card reading. I need to know, I need to know. Oh, is that everyone is calling her a scammer and that apparently she- Cancer scam, cancer uh, scam 2019. Is a I mean, loss let me clarify. I do, I do believe that Becky's mom does have cancer, but I just think the GoFundMe was sketchy as fuck. Oh, it's gaining weight. So I don't know anything about this. We're gonna go ahead and look at it. Maybe I can see what's going on. Remember that these are all alleged and for entertainment purposes only. Mm -hmm. So let's go like ahead Kathy and Griffin in. allegedly. Is that Sailor Moon? Oh my God! Right off the bat, a first pull devil. <laughs> uh oh. I He's really excited about this. I don't know what that means, but uh, it must be good or bad or I don't know. I okay. I can't. Okay, now okay. All alleged for entertainment purposes only. <laughs> got that disclaimer out of the way, girl. Okay, I got it. All alleged for entertainment purposes only. Don't shoot the messenger. Don't sue me. Whatever. But. Right off the bat, there are a few things that I have to to describe with the devil card. So the devil card okay. is manipulation, negativity, um, and that is a card that I pull when someone is actively trying to take advantage of a situation. Oh shit! Um, now, damn, just like f already from the jump, it's already like, yep, manipulation. That is. That is very, that is like probably the biggest theme in Amber Lynch's channel is just manipulation on, on all accounts and all facets of that word. It is reverse, which means unfortunately this person is a puppet. So there is a- So Becky's mom, sister and Becky are, that's, that is so eerily accurate. Oh, that gives, I'm like getting goosebumps kind of. And I don't even really believe in a lot of like this stuff. And this is already giving me like, I can't, oof. Ooh, I'm gonna have to sleep with the light on tonight. I can already tell. It's a puppet master that is pulling a string. Um, and the Nine of Swords is a lot of stress. And then we see the Knight of Pentacles, consistency, which means this has to happen consistently more than once. Oh my God. Um, if it hasn't happened more than once, it will happen again. Um, and the Knight this of Pentacles is, crazy. is um, also money. So obviously you guys know. Pentacles. Wow. Like already the two, I mean, I can't. Manipulation, money. If for someone who doesn't know much about her, I mean, I'm gonna take his word as for face value. He says he doesn't know much about her. He doesn't research these people. Um, that's crazy. Like that's such a crazy thing to already key in on 
And we're only three minutes into the video. Here's the person that is pulling the strings. It is a queen of swords. A queen of Um, swords. queen of swords is someone who is quite rude and sharp-tongued. Yes. Potentially an earth earth. Potentially an air sign, but um, it's more like they have air qualities, which means they're communicative. They should have a sharp tongue. Okay. Smart mouth. Um, Yes. Even if they're not intelligent, they're savvy. So they're able to kind of get their way. The two of swords is reversed, which means this person should have had a falling out with Amber before. She should have tried to say. Wow. Okay. So if you don't know this, I'm going to put a card up here for when I did my video talking about the Facebook post that uh, Misty and Norma were uh, putting on Facebook that I thought I allegedly thought that they were about um, Amberlynn Reed. That's crazy. So, like, he's already keying in on the fact that these people had a falling out originally. I mean, Misty even says in one of her DMs to future Miss Becky Williams that um, they they like her right now, which implied that they hadn't liked her before. So that's fucking crazy. Separate with them before. Um, the Tower card is a dramatic hush drop event. It means that the relationship that that is the foundation of the relationship with this person that is built is faulty and will crumble this is a bunch of chaos wow tower ooh, <laughs> I literally hit my keyboard tower is usually like um fighting chaos wow um, i can't you know, dude like negativity especially the devil card um so it's a relationship that started on the wrong foot and has always remained on the wrong foot this that's would be something crazy that sometimes is toxic or is like a negative thing it's like a roller coaster on again off again it's like just chaos um it's a connection that needs to be he can get all of this just from the cards that's nuts i'm i'm fucking impressed severed completely they both need to go their separate ways you know sometimes when someone's in your life they're worse than if they weren't it's kind of like that um there needs to be healing done individually first before any sort of connection can actually be healed here um these two are kind of toxic for one another i don't really know what this is uh hopefully some of the fans uh, of amber can help me out um yeah there's a lot of toxicity in the relationships that are in actually i don't think there's a relationship in amber lynn's life that isn't toxic in some kind of way like i don't think there's really anyone in her life that like is good for her (laughs) if that makes sense everyone is trying to see it seems to get something from her in some way shape or form um that's crazy that's fucking crazy whatever anyways um i will also tell you the devil card is an, a card that i pull for addictions or addictive personality <laughs> already addictions i mean food food is her addiction that is her biggest kryptonite um it's her only safe place kit kat said it best is they they hide behind food i uh, that's fucking nuts um so i know that she's a weight loss channel that apparently is gaining weight yes um, devil <laughs> card here is um, it, it is representative of someone that maybe has like a, a negative, you know, sort of uh, relationship with food or whatever the case may be here. I'm, I'm assuming Very it's negative. because she's a weight loss channel. So you guys told me. Extremely negative. Um, but if the devil card is averse, I'm, I'm, I'm really going to be honest. My worry here is when the devil is reversed, it's... And I don't want this to come across insensitive, and I don't. I'm just. I'm just. Just let it out, girl. Just let it. Alleged friend. Tell us. Only. Tell us. But when it's reversed, it's like I make it seem bigger than it is. This would be like lighting gas, (laughs) like putting. So I can't, dude. So he's already keyed in on the gas lighting. I can't, dude. I, dude. This is crazy. I'm gonna say that. The motto of this video will be: "This is me saying this is crazy." She does that all the time. She's very good at that. She makes she likes to make people feel bad for her, but in actuality, she really doesn't give a fuck. Like, this is fucking nuts. Gas on a flame and making it higher. So my issue with the devil card being reversed is there are a lot of reasons why this exists. We know why it exists. Why is it still here? When so, it's reversed. So true. I mean, we've been saying time and time again. Why are you eating on camera? Why are you putting all of this on camera? Why do you continue to ex- exploit your body for mo- for views, for money, or put your li- your health at risk for money? And she's she still does it. And she's I mean she's literally made three back to back videos of her just eating on camera. So I can't, this is nuts, dude. First, it's like I know it's there. I don't care. So. Um, one of the issues I have with a devil card here is it's like like putting a match on gas or whatever. It's like making it bigger on purpose. Right. It's like a purposeful like spiral. 
Wow. Um, the Three of Wands is reversed, the Knight of Cups is reversed, and the Three of Cups is reversed as well. Um, so... <sighs> oh, God. I, when I, whenever anyone's about to say something to you and their initial, rea their initial reaction is to sigh, like, take a deep breath and sigh, you're like, oh, this isn't going to be good. This isn't going to be good at all. Three of Wands is a, is, is a, is a card where it's like, I'm going to push everything off on everyone else. I can't, dude. This is literally, this is what she does. This is verbatim what she does. She deflects and blames, she literally blames her audience for her weight gain. It's, I'm speechless. Um, it also is a card of like, I don't understand. Why am I the focus? So that's a card of like yep. not being able to take responsibility. Yep. Um, it Zero also accountability. Means that she's easily influenced, um, especially with the Three of Cups, which is jealousy, gossip, hearsay, distrust, disloyalty. These are people around her that are negative that are very, it's very easy to persuade her. Um, yep. Knight of Cups oh is my reversed. God. Knight of Cups is immaturity and irresponsibility. This is yep. like someone who has Peter Pan syndrome. It's like I never grew up. Wow. Literally, I mean, we've been saying Amber Lynn is, is 30 going on 13. She acts like a third. She is. She has arrested development for sure. She's stuck in her preteens, um, and so it's just very easy to persuade and push in any direction whatsoever. Mm -hmm. um, so um, there seems to be that first initial negative connection. There is one more connection, not as severely negative, but this person is also a people pleaser. So it's like she's a she's someone who's easily influenced this person is over here is negative and this person over here is a people pleaser so it looks like wow so he literally just described amberlynn perfectly the sister perfectly and becky perfectly because only a people pleaser like would deal with the shit that becky's family has done to her in the past and then still stick up for them or take up for them like i don't know i mean i don't know this I, I understand that there's probably been some healing done or whatever, but I don't know if my family fucking kicked me out at 15 year olds because 15 years old because of my sexuality and only that there's no way in God greens. I would never come back around and especially get my partner from my lesbian relationship to help support these people like he, fuck, he's so on. It's so weird. I'm get, like all of the hair on my body is standing up right now specific triangle there are three main people her being in the middle of this god because um, i'm pulling threes three here three here and three here three of swords is like heartbreak breakup um or you know loss this guy i'm reading in this corner right here this guy does private readings i may need to get in contact with this guy i need to know i need to know the hermit is like isolation and the three of pentacles is a verse which is like job so um, my problem with the Three of Pentacles reverse, I don't, I, I, I haven't checked obviously, but Three of Pentacles is issues with career. So this would be, you know, sometimes I pull this for declining views. Sometimes I pull this for, you well, know, she doesn't have you know, that losing their job. Um, in this particular instance, I'm a little bit concerned because if she is showing up as a hermit, then I pull the Three of Swords, which is like heartbreak or X or some sort of, you know stressful situation. And then a Three of Pentacles job reverse. My concern with this is like, I know she's obviously making money off of this. A lot. But is she the only one making money off of this? No. Like, does she have like a manager or someone whose hands is in the money? Because three of, excuse me, it's the truth. Three of Pentacles reversed would be like, how do I put this? I'm scared. I mean, it's there. The three of Swords. That would be like, Three of Swords is like X. It's like heartbreak. It's like bad connection. I told you. This would be like, and I don't want to say this because it's I, I didn't specifically it, pull girl. the money card. Say but it. But if I pull a job card, it's like, my job is to be next to you. I'm going to leave what I already had before because I need to be next to you. When that is he talking about Destiny then? And and Becky? Wow, that that's weird. <laughs> that's so weird. So... Well, let's just keep going. Case. This would be like, I leave my job to be around you. I leave my responsibilities to be around you. He's talking about Becky. So, because Becky literally left her job just to be around her. And literally verbatim, Amberlyn said that, like, she has to, she has responsi responsibilities at home, i.e. taking care of me. That's crazy. Especially given the fact that Becky's mother has cancer and she should really be around her mother. But 
Becky still has to come home. That's fucking nuts. It's a bit strange to me, and I don't understand this. Maybe one of you can understand a little bit better. Um, but like, I don't understand why someone would be like, "My job is to be with you." I'm leaving. Yeah, because Becky is her caretaker. Because Amber is incapable of actually adequately taking care of herself at this point. She's gotten too big. I don't care what she says. She's lying to you when she says that she doesn't need help with simple tasks. She does. Leaving my job. That doesn't make any sense to me. I don't understand that. I'm confused by that. Yep. That's weird. Maybe I'm wrong, but no, you're dead like ass right, dude. You're on the money. Um, the strength card is reversed. Strength card is uh, vulnerability. Um, five of wands reversed and two of wands upright. She does have vulnerable moments, and I definitely see her um, sharing her vulnerability. But the two of wands and the five of wands is reversed. She does not want to cause problems, and there's someone directly involved that pushes her buttons. I'm telling you, the two of wands is like fighting and friction. The five of wands, hmm. like, I want to avoid this. Okay, so I was on Twitter earlier and I saw Alex who is shook. He, he, he sent this tweet and he was talking about how he thinks that his conspiracy is that um, Becky is actually the one who's like forcing Amber Lynn to do these hundred days of uploading. And <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I, I don't want to say the rest of the tweet because I don't, it's kind of messed up a little bit, but like, I don't know. I mean, that could be real. I, that could be a very big thing. Like maybe that, maybe this cancer diagnosis came on earlier and, and Becky found out about this earlier and Amber knew that she was going to have to take a lot of financial burden off of these people because they don't work. All three of them do not work, which is crazy to me. Um, that could be it. I mean, that could be what he's talking about. Like, that's eerie. That's very eerie to me. Why is she so easily persuaded? This makes no sense to me, especially if this is your job. Um, Emperor is upright, Chariot's upright, and King of Swords. Um, hmm. So Emperor is... Em this is off topic, but I'm like really fucking with the artwork on his cards. I mean, I know, I think, I think from my understanding with tarot, is everyone has their own deck and the decks are very different and you can like kind of get your, I don't know. I don't really want to talk too much about it because I don't know that much about it, but I really fucks with the artwork on his tarot cards. I think they're beautiful. They're giving me Her Sailor Moon vibes. like dad. Um, so Emperor is like dad, Emperor is like control. Um, Chariot is like progress. Um, and then we see the King of Swords. So my issue with this specific spread here is so Emperor, how do I put this? I'm trying to think of a way to wear this. I'm trying not to be rude. Girl, Spe just be rude. Let it out, girl. Let it out. Specifically because I don't know the situation, so I don't want to offend anyone. Hopefully people understand my intention here is to help and to bring clarity to situations. Um, but this is control, okay? Let's just okay. break it down. This is control. This would be st slow and steady progress, and this would be selfish energy, okay? So this is a selfish individual who's trying to control the situation, try and control her, right? And then we see six of pentacles, which means this has been going on for a very long time. An yes. Extremely long time. Six years. Um, this is also like contracts. Six years. So this would be like, you know, there might be money exchange between them if not it's a lot of time spent the eight of cops is like um i mean he is pretty much i mean i don't know now i'm like wondering if like alex is right when he's talking about becky like maybe becky isn't so docile and so like harmless as everyone wants to think because there is i mean i've said this before like i don't think amberlynn is that smart i think her brain works like a criminal does like it's 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 just about getting what she wants at all means that's how she works but the way Becky reached out to her, how Becky quit her job. I mean, that's all incredibly manipulative too. That's very controlling too. I don't, th I, Becky isn't as, as innocent as she likes to portray or as, or as Amber likes to portray her. And we've heard the, like the yelling and stuff in the background and the way that they interact on Eric's channel. So keeping a little bit of distance and the ace of wands is upright so ace of wands would be like um the birth of something new um so these two are interesting to me because this means that 
this person has done this to someone else as well. There's a pattern of behavior. Okay. Um, and this also goes right back to this card where it's like, I'm trying to turn a new leaf. I'm trying to start over. But it's just cyclical behavior for a source. Cyclical. Like rejection and healing of wounds. That's a really good word to describe, Amberlyn. Cyclical. Oh, I'm going to be very honest with you. I I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I have to say this. Allegedly, for entertainment purposes only, this four of swords would be like an issue. You know, somebody who's not maybe super healthy in their lifestyle. Someone who's Duh. not doing well. So if she's yeah. getting weight and I pull a four of swords and then I pull a hierophant reverse and a star reverse, this is like wanting negative attention and enjoying the <laughs> negative attention that you get. Absolutely. 100,000%. someone close to her that's enabling this it's like yeah like yeah the, the only way amber lynn's existence continues is with the en enabling of people around her i.e becky or eric or becky's family but that's the only way that that it continues it's the only the only way she's able to maintain and sustain that body is with the help of others there's no way she can do it by herself get the negative attention, you need the negative attention, you're supposed to have the negative attention, that's what we're here for. I don't understand why you would want to bring negative attention to because someone. Because it's the only way that's she gets the me. money, this it's the only way she gets the I'm views. confused as hell. Um, it's like meal ticket, Queen of Pentacles. Seven meal of swords, ticket. six of wands, all ego and pride, no yep. one to admit any fault. Seven of Swords. Is Dude, like that is Amberlynn to it. She will never, ever take any kind of responsibility. Even in that update video she did, she didn't address any of the bullshit. She's deflected and said that... See, the thing is, is you know... The thing with that update video, too, that really gets me is... Even after you see the, the evidence of these people being bad, you still promoted that GoFundMe. And I know a lot of people, like, try to... Are, are saying that like you know th this isn't her she didn't say that she didn't but at the end of the day if you're on your channel and you're advertising it to 135,000 people you have to take responsibility and ownership for the people that are involved in that GoFundMe now and the fact that the sister can come on here and say I pray that you all get cancer I hope you get crotch cancer and all that stuff and then Amberlyn still is promoting the GoFundMe she's now responsible she has she's now accountable for everything that those that those nasty motherfuckers say that that's just how it is that's how i see it and that's kind of what he's saying too i want to be victorious in career yeah it's the five of pentacles this would be like a f this would be like it's almost like you're it's almost like having a manager it's like oh you should be doing this oh you should do that what the hell that's so weird I know you guys are asking about like scamming and stuff but it's it's this toxic connection that i'm seeing everywhere Judgment here would be about other people trying to get in. High Priestess is, no, doesn't trust anyone. Magician is reverse, which means that there are faked messages. So Magician reverse is always misdirection. So when I pull misdirection, it means like someone fakes messages or fakes things to her directly. So I don't think she sees things the way we all see things. It seems like there's some- No, that's very evident. She, her, I mean, he should do one for fucking Chantel too. Real talk, I feel like. I feel like a lot of the same cards would be pulled, but um, that is very much her. She doesn't see her, the way she sees herself is completely different than the way everyone around her sees her. That's very clear. She doesn't see herself as being 600 pounds. She doesn't see herself as like being incredibly toxic online. She doesn't see herself as like sh setting really poor examples for obese people, and especially severely morbidly obese people. She does not see that. She doesn't see how eating on camera isn't bad. She actually thinks it's a good thing that she eats on camera. So um, that's very true for Amberlynn. Around her that makes things look different than it really is. And to be honest with you, I don't think that this, this particular individual is a mastermind. Um, she reads to me as someone that is naive enough to believe anything anyone told her. Um, this is the naive card. This would be money or expectations. The king of cups is a verse in the sun. Um, this right here is like, I want to make you happy. Okay. And I don't get any emotional support from you. I don't get any emotional, you know, anything from you. The only way I get any response is when I do what you say. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know how that ties into Amberlynn. Because I think Amberlynn is incredibly self-serving. I do think that, like, she was manipulated into doing the GoFundMe. I do think that the way Misty and the mom and that friend went about everything forced her hand at that. So, but I don't, I don't know how that reading ties into Amberlynn really yeah dude the cycle needs to stop so I am seeing her make a connection 
with someone who is going to try to infiltrate. So I see a connection with another individual who, I don't know if this has happened yet, hmm. um, but I see someone trying to infiltrate and make a connection with her, Two of Cups of Earth, Wheel of Fortune, to try to help her. Um, but for some reason, this other person is like, you're greedy, they're greedy and selfish, they just want money from you, it's not worth it. I don't know who that could be. I was hoping that maybe he was gonna talk about like maybe someone actually getting through to her and helping her actually lose weight but it sounds to me it's more so he's talking about someone who's trying to benefit more off of her and not so much help her um i mean the only people i can think of would be like misty and norma right like those are becky's sister and becky's mom um i don't i don't know i think people have reached out to her in the past i think like when obese beast or like um alan reached out to her i think that they were doing it more so for her and not for themselves um but she didn't want to listen, so. Why does this, who is this person that's able to persuade her out of getting help or getting things on the right track? That could be Becky. He could be talking about Becky. Because I just, I just don't see how, I mean, we watch My 600 Brown Life, we see it all the time, we see the enablers, and they will actively go out of their way to sabotage their loved ones from actually getting healthy and saving their lives. And to me, and I know a lot of people I, again, I've said this before, people see Becky as being innocent, but like, I think that Becky likes Amber being that way because then Becky gets a lot of what she wants out of her. She doesn't have to work. She gets money. She gets to give money for her family. It's easy for her. Um, she got a new car out of it. I mean, there's a lot of things that Becky gets out of Amber staying 600 pounds and continue, continuing this YouTube career. So I think he's talking about Becky right here. I don't understand this. It's, it's literally a toxic individual. It's like someone who literally wants nothing. It's a fucking... It's literally... Uh, Ace of Cups is a verse. It's a bond. A loving bond. Ace of Swords is like... See, the I, at first I was wondering, like, maybe he's talking about, like, the hater reaction channels, maybe? Like, the like our relationship? But, like, there's no love there. So I don't think that, like there's there's no love there so i don't he has to be talking about something someone closer i mean from what my understanding amber lynn's pretty much cut off her entire family her real blood family they don't really talk anymore so I, he's got to be talking about becky regret which means that she kind of sort of knows it but doesn't acknowledge it and the king of pentacles is reversed which yeah that's this very much lazy. Becky. Lazy. And yeah. has nothing else. Yeah. This has to be someone who has nothing else and is yes. literally using this person to get what they want. Absolutely. It's like, it's like, it's Becky. like attaching at the hip. It's almost like a lazy Parasite. Energy. Parasite. I'm trying to figure out what's going on with this scam stuff that you guys are talking about, but I'm not pulling pentacles. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reshuffle and specifically ask what's going on with the scam situation that you guys are talking about. Oh, I didn't know you could do that, like, um, with the cards. So let's go ahead and reshuffle this. Before we pull Oracle decks, let's just go ahead and reshuffle with this. Now, I don't know her family situation, um, but there is some weird... There's some weird daddy issue with the Emperor. I can't quite figure out why the Emperor was so prominent in that reading. It's some sort of weird daddy issue. I don't know what it is. Um... I mean, Amberlynn has talked a little bit about her dad, not a ton. Um, she seems to be more forgiving of the dad. I mean, she doesn't talk a lot about him, but like whenever she's criticized anyone in her in her life, she's very quick to criticize her mom for her shitty childhood. Um, so that could be what he's talking about. <clears throat> okay. All right, so I'm specifically asking, I'm trying to do it near the mic so you guys can hear it. I'm specifically asking about like the scamming situation. Um, the moon is reversed. So whatever you guys already know is everything. The moon reverse is like secret revealed. So that means you guys already know what's going on. Queen of Cups yeah. is reversed and Justice card is reversed. Which we means know. If you're we figured worried, it out. So justice would be like justice delivered. So I'd be like, oh, someone's going to jail. Oh, someone's this. But it's reversed. So usually this means like, usually this means like things are either canceled, removed, or stopped. The GoFundMe. I mean, that GoFundMe was up to like $3,800. And I believe now, since people have asked for refunds, it's almost back below 3000 If you've donated money to that GoFundMe and you feel like you were giving money under false pre pretenses, then I would um, implore you to 
seek a look into getting a refund. So that that's probably what he's talking about. Before they could get to a point where somebody could jump in and do something about it. Ten of Cups is family, Knight of Pentacles, other people, and the Knight of Wands here. Emperor is like, Empress is like mom. Think of Empress as like mom, nurturing mom energy. Four of Wands. Ugh, I don't know if I would use that to describe Becky's this mom. Would be like change of environment or home. She kicked two gay, Seven gay kids out of her home. Stick. Six of Cups is like children or the past. Knight of Swords. So definitely knows what they're doing. Knight of Swords is like impurity or impure intentions. And that I feel like that I feel like he is talking about the family right there. Like if one thing that I never understood was why the family immediately wanted to like come and reach out to the hater community, given the fact that like we're supposed to be these awful, disgusting people. Um, why wasn't her? Why why isn't the community helping? Why aren't the friends helping? Why is you know like what that was very weird to me. They also seem to be very um, religious. Why isn't their church help helping? Like you had to come and reach out to the hater community. I think that's kind of what he's addressing. King of Swords reverse, which is like waiting for this to blow over. Okay, I'm going to ask the chat really quickly on Twitch what the scamming situation is, guys. What is the specific scamming situation you guys are talking about allegedly? What is it? I'm looking oh my at god! I feel like what that's like it? way too much to like. What is the specific situation? Because I feel like that's way there's uh, that would take the you'd have to watch Aphrodite's speech. Card, and I have to figure <laughs> out what the situation is to understand this. The Four of Wands is like an environment or a home card. Homebound, bedbound. Her girlfriend's mom, bedbound and beyond, Empress, has cancer, and they went on camera and said they need money to help. So what? What's the what's the alleged scam then? Oh, she has full coverage insurance. They said she doesn't have insurance, but allegedly she has military insurance. Got it. Okay. Okay, well, he's starting to get it now. The Four of Wands is that's like a the Cliff Notes card. version of what happened, but so the if this right here, the Four of Wands reversed is my issue because this is the answer as to what's going on it's the same person the same the same person from before um this is laziness this is like using my job to to get what we want <laughs> being naive it's the same energy but the four of wands this is house or environment home or environment okay home or environment so that's where I see this funneled to. This is funneled to home or environment. That's where I see the, the, the allegedly money going to. Home or environment. Do you think do you think maybe he's I don't know. I don't know where the money's going. I don't think it's going to a home. I mean, Amber Lynn was talking about wanting, like, I don't know if she was being serious or not, but she was talking about wanting to get her own place. I don't think they would be that fucking scummy to be like, oh, we're going to, like, do this GoFundMe to really, like, help put a down payment on a nicer house. I don't think they're that scummy. But I've been proven wrong by Amber Lynn many times. I wonder if they're trying to, like, place her somewhere or maybe buy something for themselves. I don't know. Ooh, what I will say, though, is I'm not seeing too much happen from that. I'm kind of seeing them wait till that's blown over and then just, like, exit and never talk about it and never do it again. Mm -hmm. It's, like, lesson learned to me. Um, I don't know about lesson learned. because justice reverse usually means nothing happens to them. However, if they continue to push it, justice reverse blows in their blows up in their face hardcore. Oh, this I is would one say that definitely happened. Typically, this is all if you blown get away up in their face. It, you will get away with it, but if you keep pushing it, the punishment will be even worse than it could have been. I mean, this could he could be talking about the fact that she was talking she almost got her YouTube channel taken away for violating AdSense terms of service. Or they could be talking about the fact that like I, I the GoFundMe could go away altogether. I don't know. I don't. I don't. I think that GoFundMe is going to disappear here soon anyway. So we'll have to wait and see. So, because the moon is reversed. If the moon was upright, I'd be like, oh, they're getting justice delivered to them. But the moon's reversed. So the four of wands is where allegedly money is going to. So it would be something in the home or in the environment, something to make us feel more comfortable. Um, and to enable lazy behavior. Um, it yep. looks like it's... <laughs> That's very true. 
it looks like it's fueled from this other person, um, and it looks like it's mostly, like, it's not even entitlement, it's laziness. Like, this energy is sluggish, it's lazy. <laughs> sloth, sloth energy. It's, it's, like, easy. Easy, that's, the, I mean, that's the, and that's literally the pinnacle of, like, everything about Amber Lynn is that she stays fat because it's easier to stay fat. She continues with YouTube because it's easy money. She could put 10 ads in her 10-minute mukbangs. Um, that is easy, lazy. That is Amber Lynn Reed. But this Empress is reversed, which is just, like, that's the mom energy. But, like, how do... I don't know how much the mom actually knows. A lot. <laughs> I think the mom Anyways, knows a lot. Let's go ahead and pull some Oracle cards. What are oracle cards? I don't know shit about tarot. <clears throat> Those are like holographic. You know what? I, I've said this before. I don't like mukbangs because I don't like the sounds of um, eating and stuff like that. But the sounds of him like shuffling the deck is kind of soothing. <laughs> Sorry, if you Ooh, those are big cards. Anger and Chains, Temple of My Body, and Parasite. <laughs> oh my god. I don't even want to know what those mean. Temple of My Body is like a sex card or a seductress card to be Ooh. someone she has an intimate connection with. Parasite is the leech, and the Anger and Chains is the chaotic connection. She wants to remain peaceful. I did pull the triumph of she wants to, I honestly do think that Amber Lynn doing that video and seeing how Norma reacted to Eric not doing a video for her, I do think that she was forced into doing that video. Otherwise, it would have been hell on earth. Hell on earth. And I think that... In me I think in many ways, people see the power dynamic of Amber Lynn and Becky as Amber Lynn holding... Um, the cards to everything, but if you if you actually think about it, if it wasn't if if Becky just left Amber today, Amber would have nothing and no one. She would have no one to help her, and Amber is not in a state to be able to do anything by herself. Amber can't move herself into an apartment. Amber can't pack her stuff by herself. Amber can't do a lot of things by herself. So I think the power dynamic is a lot different than how we perceive it. And I think that Becky in many ways holds all the cards. <laughs> no pun intended. But um, I think Becky actually is in more control of everything that goes on in the house than we actually are made to believe. Ice card though, so let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Triumph of lies, any lie that is told Anything in the dark comes to light with that card. That looks like a whistleblower to me. Ooh. She I like watch that. watch out. There's someone around her that has enough information. Eric, it's Ricky. It's fucking Ricky. I guarantee. Dude, I've said it before. I think Ricky's going to be the one that's going to blow the lid off of all this. I think it's that person that tried to help her. I think it's that person that tried to help her. You're gonna get some some stuff coming out from that person this earth card water card air card and Pluto card literally earth water and air This would be someone who was around for a while Someone who was emotionally invested for a little bit and the air card is them speaking their truth Pluto is like I'm desperate. I want transformation. Oh Earth's That's earth, Eric and Ricky Pisces. That's the bubble that they want burst and the Uranus card coming out of nowhere and who we who someone that we might not always expect from. Sometimes it's who we'd least expect from. Um, sometimes it's the way that it's articulated is not typical of that individual. Um, it's like a little bit out of character for them. I mean, um, I guess that could be, be the ex-wife. So, this situation Jerry, is definitely going to get bigger. Um, yeah. There's going to be more eyes on her. Now, I'm not currently seeing a public scandal, but what I will tell you is that she is very close. And if this person hits the right points... <laughs> This person hits the right points. This will be public. Uh oh. So, oh no. Just be careful. I think it could be Ricky um, and Eric. I think. Yeah, that's kind of what Eric I see. Sure. Uh, it, it's. I kind of. Uh, I mean, I'm not going to pass judgment on this individual because I don't know her and I haven't watched her stuff. But what I can say here is that these cards don't feel sympathetic. Um, these cards don't make me feel 
like Bad. empathetic. These cards kind of in this energy kind of is a little bit hollow, shallow, superficial, surface level, manipulative. Um, I, he just pretty much described Amberlyn Reed to a T. I think that that is how Amberlyn, I, that is Amberlyn to me. Hollow, manipulative, super, superficial. That is very, that are all things. Amber, even when Amberlyn tries to be, act like she's deep and she's struggling or whatever, it's all a means to an end for her. I don't think she really feels that way. I think that that's just how she thinks that people, per, I, that's how she thinks people should be acting. And so she, that's how she interprets it. And that's how she explains it. I don't think she actually does feel those things. I think that that's just how she thinks that people want her to act. And just all around sluggish. It's like groggy, sluggish, lazy, heavy, mm -hmm. you know, just not particularly um, what I was expecting. I was expecting more of like, a, oh, I'm trying to get my life on track, but I can't get on track. No, this is very like dog and pony show. Like, and yep. what I mean by that is like, it's very absolutely much like content. Absolutely. Um, so, yeah. That's, so I mean, that's literally what we're seeing right now with the salad mukbangs and acting like she's only eating that. It's like, girl, you would not be maintaining 570 pounds if you were eating a salad a day. That's just not the case. So, yeah, I think he's dead on with that. Sorry uh, that uh, it's ending on a little bit of a weird note, but yeah. Uh, anyways. All right. Well, that's pretty much it. So... What did we learn? I mean, I think it's very important to take all of this with a grain of salt. I don't, tarot isn't like, I don't, I mean, I don't believe in a lot of things really. So I, to, I mean, the only things I really I'd say is, says the person who literally just went and had acupuncture done today. Um, it is, I think it, it is what it is. It's, it's worth it. I think it's, I don't know. It's, he said a lot of stuff that ringed very true. So at the, at the very least, he's incredibly insightful, I think. Um, the cards were very interesting to me. I think that he kind of hit the nail on the head with a lot of aspects at, around Amberlynn and how she lives her life and how all of this works together and how of this is all. I do, the Puppet Master thing is very dead on to me. I, I think there is a, sh a, a, a balance, a power balance difference that we're seeing now. And I think that this has all kind of exposed that, that Becky isn't as powerless as she perceives or she likes people to perceive her as. I think that she does call a lot of the shots. I think that she is in, in control of a lot of the um, way that um, her family is portrayed and a lot of how she gets things out of that relationship. So um, I think that that's very true. This is all very good to me. This video is already really super long. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Michael B. Petty. Um, make sure to click like and subscribe and comment on this video if you, if you liked it. Um, and until next time, toodles.